things I have to sometimes do on this show. This is a bag of ice. This is an ice crusher. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are going inside a little share cup segment. It's been too long since I've had a professional bartender, professional mixologist, and I know quite a few of them, make a cocktail for me. So guess who's back in the building? This big guy. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Tyron Benjamin. <laughs> that side, Martin James. Hi, welcome. And they're here for a particular reason, because uh, they are here to sort of kick kick off what they've come together. The group of you guys basically would have come together and created what you are now calling artistic bar concepts. Exactly, yeah. Martin, you want to lead on that? Who, 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 who came up with the concept of bringing a team together to, 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 to bring this brand forward? Well, to be honest, um, Joe, um, we all were in different parts of the industry doing our thing mm -hmm. and everybody was trying to push the envelope a little more. And we all thought it better if instead of us struggling in our own neck of the woods to come together and then we could have a much more defined, streamlined impact into what it is we see the potential of bartending and mixology in Trinidad and Tobago. Unity is strength there. I mean, based on what yes. Martin would have said, that unity is strength. Instead of you here, Martin, they are, you know, you, you come together and, yes. and, and, and unity is strength. Well, Martin and I have been brothers for quite a time. Yeah. We worked at Hilton together. And uh, to be honest, you know, we share the same interests. We share the same passion. We share the same love for what we do. And since Hilton to now, we've been on a journey. And here is where it is at now. But the future, nobody knows yeah. how we join together, as yeah. you say. Yeah. Right? yeah, the journey continues. Continues, so correct. Yes. So these guys, artistic bar concepts, guys, we, they are here to launch or just tell you about a little, a little event that's happening uh, right here at Aroma Culinary Studio, the home of Cup of Joe. They will be here next week, Saturday, Saturday the 8th of yes. December. Yes. They will be putting on a cocktail experience. I love how you said oh that. Oh my yeah. goodness. I don't get that. Yeah. I don't get that. Yeah, yeah. I love how you yeah. said that because it's going to be an experience. Oh my yeah. goodness. The cocktail experience. Yeah. Correct. You got better, they got Yeah, 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 I hope they got yeah. together. <laughs> <laughs> That's happening on December 8th, right here at Aroma Culinary Studio, the home of Cup of Joe. Yes. And uh, these guys mm -hmm. would have come together and put this concept on. Martin came to us and, 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 and put this idea to us, and we just loved it. Mm -hmm. Martin, tell me, tell me a little bit about what folks can expect and very limited seating. But, but tell us what this experience, this cocktail experience event is all about. All right, well. Anytime you go out these days, um, you'll find more persons paying attention to what's happening behind the scenes. So they'll be paying attention to the bartender, they'll be paying attention to if they could see the kitchen, they'll mm -hmm. want to know what's going on, they'll want to get an opportunity to actually interact and interface with the, the, the professionals. But not all the time you'll actually get the opportunity because mm -hmm. like I work in a well, I used to work in a, a pretty high intense high intensity bar that would have been boozo. Right. And when the, when the bar is pumping, as we see yeah, in the yeah, train, yeah. Yeah. you don't really have time to stop and talk. You want yeah, to talk, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. You can't smoke talk. You have to drink some here. You have to drink some here. So it must be like, okay, yeah. and the owner wants to make sure all the things come out and turn. Yeah, no, yeah, that kind correct. of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we decided to do is to partner with you. Right. And we were very, very glad that you gave us the opportunity and create a cocktail experience where persons will be free to interact with the mixologist and ask the questions that they would be kind of embarrassed to ask if they go in public now. You know, they say, so, so why are you using that spoon? I have a spoon home, I could use that spoon too. And we could explain to you, you know, mm -hmm. what you could use, what you can't use, what might be the best option for you. And then mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you would say, well, why are you putting this particular ingredient and not that one? But you don't want to look bad because, you know, you're well-dressed and you're yeah. You're mad at me. So we'll you ask those foolish questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will be here to explain that, take you through the process, and then with that now, the buy-in from you is that now you'll be able to respect the craft a little more, which yeah. is where we're from, the craft. Yeah. And the more persons that respect the craft, you'll find that even other persons who are looking on and thinking about it as a viable career option, mm -hmm. they will now say, oh, this is why I have to pay attention to my craft a little more. Yeah, yeah. And, and really appreciate. I have been around you guys, and I, I kind of 
of growing to appreciate what you do. Um, I, I, I refuse to call you all just bartenders anymore because when I see Tyrone at work, when I see you at work, Martin, it's really creation. I, I know you guys spend a lot of time conceptualizing mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, I see, I, I see real art and I suppose that's why it's Craft. artistic. Right, Creativity, right, 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 yeah, right. correct. Tyrone, what's happening here this morning? Okay, Joe, so you know when we come, we come big. <laughs> you know, we don't do ordinary. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We are good when friends. Come, so. <laughs> when we come, we come big. Says the smallest man on the set. <laughs> What's it? Yeah. You, uh, yeah. Hey, you, always, you, you always say it, but it always catch me every yeah. time. You know, seriously. When we come, we come big. Let's go. We're going big. All right. Doing? So, in following with our Christmas season, right? right and uh, we have chosen a white walker, right? So I saw this, and this. Mm -hmm. So, this is Johnny Walker. This is White Walker. White Walker, right. yeah. So it's basically a promotion with Walker, okay. right, for the Christmas season. And they have cooperated with um, Game of Thrones. Right. Right? Um, you know, say winter is coming or something like winter that? Winter is coming. Yeah, right? Right. right? So that's the famous thing yeah. on, Game of on Game of Thrones. I'm not a big fan of I yes. don't know what you show here, but, but I, under, I, I mean, you can't, that phrase is all over the place. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I'm not a big Game of Thrones fan as right. well. You know, yeah. I hardly have time for TV. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Ironically, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the concept is um, white winter, right? We're using white walker, but we're using a white winter, which is actually the name of the cocktail, right? right? So we're going to be incorporating the red tree, right? From what I've researched recently, so mm -hmm. I can know how to present for this cocktail, right? right? There's a, a white tree with red leaves. Okay. So that is going to be a little reveal coming to the end, but right. we, we are aligned with that, right? Do you think so do you think I'm going to start and, and I can explain as you while, right? Okay. Martin, you could run through. So, so Martin, when, and, and, and because when folks come to the cocktail, no, no, guys, I, I don't know what it's a very intimate, up close, and personal type of event mm -hmm. that we normally put on here when we put on our brunches and dinners and so on. So this cocktail experience <laughs> 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 is. This this team of this team of, of, of mixologists, Martin, Tyron, and, and, and the guy, they will be up close and personal with you. Right. Um, there will be a there will be a menu. You will have particular cocktails on the night that you'll be showcasing. Definitely. That's what's happening. So um, the idea is to take what you know about alcohol, right. the base spirits, and to upgrade one your appreciation for the spirits, mm -hmm. two the, the care and the, 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 the way that you would actually present the spirits and even more so than that some people think all spirits is wrong because you know we Caribbean we yeah, think everything yeah. is wrong yeah, yeah, this yeah. vodka is scotch is this that you wrong yeah we drink it wrong this way now you get to know what the subtle differences are probably right. if, if you do know you can be introduced to it right. in a nice way and it's just an open format for learning and an yeah. exchange of knowledge. Right. Right. Let me just find out. Tyra, what's going on in there? Because I saw you mash something. Yeah, so what's happening here, Joe? I have my heated mug, right? right? So it's going to adapt the heat really easy. Right. So what I did, I just poured some hot water. I put in some fresh ginger on my Johnny. And it's here Johnny now, there. yeah, it's lighting, right? Yeah. So I'm doing my little magic, you know? How, how shall did I say it? Um, Ya ba da ba da ba do ya, right? <laughs> no, that's that's a um, sparrow, sparrow <laughs> right? Ya ba da ba. Yes, all right. So you know we do magic, right? right? So as right. part of our magic here now, I'm gonna be taking this and I'm pouring it over. Wait till I fire it, fire it, fire it. That's what we do. We work with flames. We work with magic, right? So I need a metal. I need a metal vessel. Uh, we can arrange that. Okay, but, we that, but that's that. important. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Um, especially if you're using yeah, yeah, yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah. Right? But I love the concept fire and ice. Right? Because in the so, movie, yes. it's fire and ice. Correct. Okay. Yeah, right? So right? We so, throw fans yeah, will yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have our Johnny, our ginger. Right? right? So here now, Joe, I'm going to be adding some honey ginger syrup. Right? Honey ginger syrup. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean these guys take this craft very seriously. You'd have been soaking that honey ginger concoction. There yes. Some um, the, yeah, sometimes right. the longer it stays, the better it more kusume. Mm. Right. You know, kusume. Right? <laughs> so, 
to that. My sweet, now I'm gonna add some, some citrus so we can just balance off that sweetness, all right? I'm gonna be adding just a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, all right? And uh, to this as well, I'm gonna be adding some freshly harvested, not in Trinidad, <laughs> harvested meaning we just got right. the seeds from the pulp, right? What is it? Uh, pomegranate. pomegranate, fresh, fresh pomegranate. I mean, we are accustomed to getting pomegranate in liquid form or in right. syrups, right. right? I like to use fresh. You got, you got the seeds there. Yes. yes. Wow. All right. Joe, an interesting thing about this is the pomegranate seeds are what they take to make grenadine. Right. So old school bartenders, they would have been using grenadine to make their own, use the pomegranate seeds to make their own grenadine. Mm. So we, we try to do a lot of artisan from scratch kind yeah. of stuff, authentic yeah. stuff. And it adds a very nice flavor. So this is what we call swizzling. Yeah, I had a right? feeling too. I just had a feeling too. You are, you are, you are, you yeah. are a chef. You be, you, you be bubbling sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we swizzling. We swizzling yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a calorie man. Yes. And I, I love a good swizzle. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, man. I love a good swizzle. So and you know these swizzles take a long time when you, you know. Yeah, if you do something. If you're in the kitchen, you know what has happened, right? Crack two on your back and that is it. Oh. Right, these was a six mic break, but the longer the old time one, okay, it, will, right. it will last. <laughs> right, so I just swizzle, swizzle the pomegranate seeds to release the juices right. into the cocktail. Right. right, and from here now, Joe. Yeah, are you a real pomegranate. Yes, a real pomegranate. Ice. And let's see how, how well how well you did. Yeah. No? Let's see. Let's, let's see. see. It's good. Nice. Right. It's good. It can pass. It can pass. It can pass. Yeah, we yeah. We could we could carry them up to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you prefer crushed ice here? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. This yeah. For this particular drink, yes, the, crushed ice. The actual right? ice is even as important as the, the liquid that you put in. Yeah, oh I'm looking for yeah, this. Yeah, you're looking for I looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. Right? So just a little more swizzle to chill and bring that temperature down that we want it to, to get a little frosting on the glass and as well to further uh, dilute the cocktail as well, right? Because remember dilution, chilling is important, right? I'm gonna rest this here, Joe, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I won't go with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so from here, I have a little something called balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. but it's pomegranate flavored as well. Whoa. Right, so this will add a little tartness, right? right? You're accustomed to bitters and stuff, so this will add that bitter element, Got you. right? Got you. Just a few drops, all right? It's very potent. You could have a smell of it, Joe. Ooh, yes. It's mm -hmm. lovely, yeah? Mm -hmm. Pomegranate, mm -hmm. all right? So this is one of our little, little syrups and little bitters that we use. Right. So from here, I'm gonna add a little more ice, all right? I'm gonna shake, add some more ice, and top with some ginger beer as we need. Christmas season, yes. right? You know, Trinis love sorrel, we love ginger beer. I've decided to go with this curry bit ginger beer. Yeah. I think I like this yeah. particularly. It, it, it's, our drink, it's our drink of choice. Yeah, this, this season okay. Curry bit ginger beer. Well, yeah. I think I made a right choice. Yeah. Yeah. If you all need a brand ambassador, yeah. Yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just about the same, yeah, about the same height as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's short and sweet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'll just give it a little splash, a little top, all right? So you see we have cinnamon, we have ginger, we have, Pomegranate. can't forget our white walker. And again, we go in again, some more ice. Cause it's a, it's a white winter. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a cap over this, right? Okay. So you know what I'm talking about, but these guys are gonna see what we're talking about. So I'm just gonna add some ice. This is a lemon zester, all right? With some of your strength there. All right, I'm gonna continue going up a little bit. All right. Yes, I think we're good there. All right. So, it's a little trick. Thank you. And I'm just gonna rest this on top here. All right. And to that, I'm gonna add some of the same fresh pomegranate for garnish. All right. So everyone want to sound red. Yes. And in the, tr right. in the Game of Thrones show itself, you have all these colors being displayed on the tree. So this 
tree that you're gonna hear about a little more is a weirwood tree. Right. It, it, it's a mystical element in the whole drink, and it's a mystical element in the series as well. So mm -hmm. we wanted to have a play on that while we were doing the cocktail. So we added a lot of the elements of the show mm -hmm. in, the in the cocktail. Yes. All right, Drew, and what we have here is a replica of that tree mm -hmm. where I took our swizzle stick, mm -hmm. which is Trini as well, because mm -hmm. it's in a Queen's Park swizzle. Turn it upside down, right? Make sure it's good measurement. Mm -hmm. And what I have here is some r fresh red cranberries. And we have injected these cranberries with some of our ginger syrup mm -hmm. mixed with a little bit of Johnny. So, so if you feel it again right from the alcohol here, you're getting the alcohol here. Right, right. All right? Right, right? So we put in it as a part of our garnish. This represents the, the white Weirwood tree. Weirwood tree, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, these cram cranberries are infused. All right, I'm playing a little doctor here right, now. Right, right, right. All right. So, what we are doing, Joe, we are just injecting it with some of the syrup. Right. Oh, kind of went a little too far, but good. Right? right, right, right. right. And it's then from here, yeah, mm -hmm. you're not getting away. You're not getting away at all. The whole thing is on. So I'll be putting this now on the tree. Right. All right. So that's part of the garnish there. All right. And we ain't finished here. To add a little more of that tree effect, I have here a little purple basil. All right. And finishes this cocktail. And to this as well, last but not least, um, give me a fine strainer. You can't have a, a snow drink and you don't have snow. All right. So, Joe, do my favor. Just could you hand me that blue looking glass here? I know you was wondering what it's for, right? Mm -hmm. So this is part of our finale to this White Walker cocktail. All right. All right. So we have him resting there. And last but not least, the White Walker part. The so we. Here. Adding a little winter over this. All right. What did I say? Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Every day is here. All right, guys. <laughs> winter is here. So Rabbi I present Mara. to you guys White Walker. All right. I don't even, I don't even want to drink that. <laughs> you don't I, want to I drink want it? To watch, I just want to watch at the winter. <laughs> well, I mean, I could help you to drink it. You know? I, I mean, you need a straw, so but you're missing a straw. Can I just, is, is this? Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker. It is Johnny Walker, but the difference with this Johnny Walker and the others, this has a cold filtration mm -hmm. process. Okay. Yes. So usually Johnny Walker is is taste forward. Uh -huh. right. It's very very intense. Okay. This one isn't as intense. So I would suggest if you're a first time Scotch drinker, right. whiskey drinker, yeah. this would be a good choice. Okay. I'm not a first. I'm not a, a right. first time. So I'm gonna pour you Johnny a Walker drinker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pour you a sample first, first. so you can know how the Johnny oh. tastes on its own. Pour it. I, I, right? I'll drink it off here. Yeah, I, I, I'll drink it off here. <laughs> I'm just ready. I, if, since you did this, Tyrone. Yes. What do you think? Whoa, Tyrone. Wow. You love it? Tart. Just enough sweet. Mm -hmm. The ginger flavor kind of popping as, 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 as it goes down now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, this is just a little example of what you will experience at the cocktail experience. <laughs> <laughs> right here at the Roma Culinary Studio. It's on next week, Saturday. This, these guys, the artistic cocktail concepts they represent, that they'll be here showcasing. Just book it. You see, it's very, very early. Mm -hmm. Limited seating here. Um, it's a very intimate experience. Come on down and experience what these guys will put on for you. Fight to show the cocktail experience here at the Roma Culinary Studio. Guys, Thank Joe, you much, you know. it's pleasure. Been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. having us here. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. Martin and Tyrone have known them in the industry for so long, and they continue to do some wonderful stuff. We want to really, really thank them for being here this.